Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to resolve an issue the related columns is not adding in the PDF. So if you're using a child and table relationship to create a PDF and you are using is part of, as you can see, so this is the child table and you're using a reference type column and then you click this is part of, it will generate a reference column from the child records so let me show you one example so i already have a automation in the sample app let's say i'm going to add an order let's say joe let's say i'm going to add an entries let's say apple and then i'm going to add one more let's say banana okay once i save um this should uh, uh, include the related child records or the related columns down here but in this uh, current setup it will not include so this is the common issues for using the child and parent for creating a PDF it is because app sheet will first uh, records the parent then the child as you can see it doesn't include the related columns so to solve this issue we need to go to your um, Google Sheet or to your database and you need to insert one uh, or date time or one column which is defined let's say last updated and this column it should be empty we're going to create a data action here let's regenerate so in this column, uh, this is like a run column uh, wherein it triggers the, the PDF. So what we're going to do is this last updated, I'm going to just change it into date time and keep it, keep it blank. There is no formula on that. Then you have to create an action. So let's go into create an action. Let's say um, date. Okay, this will be last updated. All right, then set value columns of this row and then look for the uh, last updated. You can just put now there. Okay, and you don't need to display this. Once you're done for that, look for the uh, table form save wherein you are generating the PDF. So this time it's in parent and then last updated. And what will happen is every time you create a record and just make sure as well you change this to updates only in your automation because it will create two PDF. So we don't want to happen that. Okay, let's save. So what will happen in this setup? So the first uh, data action which is the uh, we created last updated it will go to the server and write the parent and then the next one will be child so this is only in one in one transaction we can include including the child column so let's try joe for example or let's put another name john let's say apple let's say three apples let's say i'm going to add two items in this let's say orange and this is three orange and then once i save it should include the uh, related columns now so you can design this you can hide this uh, some of the the let's say the last updated you don't need to show it so you can hide it and in this kind of setup will uh, solve the issue of the related columns which is not adding your PDF let's just wait to save all right mm -hmm. so this is John this is the PDF and I'm gonna see this and here we go so it's added in one entries only so this is how to resolve an issue for re related columns not adding in the pdf if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any question 
Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.